Hello, Witch Folk. Welcome to our coven. We're Angels on Broomsticks. We're a mother-daughter duo. And, and we, we love the makeup. makeup. Happy New Year, everyone. This is our first video of the year. Yeah, it's and been a while. What are we going to be talking about? Uh, so today, we are going to be talking about our makeup trend predictions for 2023. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's and then we're going to like say what we think might go away. Yeah, what's gonna what's here to stay from previous years? What's coming back? What's what's in? What's out? And what yeah, we think. and some some of what's in and what's out is what we we want. That's true. So yeah, yes. Take so it with a grain of salt. We're, yeah, we're not we're not witches who can predict the future, <laughs> or can we? We'll see. We'll see at the end of the year how accurate we. Yeah, will. we'll huh. check back. Uh, I think we're just gonna go sort of like you know start about. Talk about the face, maybe then talk about eyes, talk about lips at the end. Okay. Something like that. Yeah. Let's start with face, complexion. Mm hmm What's what's here to stay? Well, I think all these the foundations are really great now. Mm -hmm. And they're like you can be dewy, you could be a bit matte. Because yeah. everyone's face is different. So I think that's here to stay. Mm hmm All these foundations, I think. Yeah. You know. I don't know. Like, do you think that it's sheerer now, or like, are yes. we leaning towards skin? Skin is in. Skin is in. Yeah, I think there's been yeah beautiful foundation releases this past year. So many like Nars Light Reflecting, the House Labs. Everyone's yeah, and I'm gonna with, I'm like, ordered the Mario. Mario. So yeah, and see how that yeah. goes. I think a lot of the formulations are a little bit more lighter. Like, people are opting out of the, still opting out of that 2016 trend that we were not part of, of like, really, really thick foundation mm -hmm. and everything. I So, yeah, to me, I think, like, that idea of just, like, a fresh, sort of, not necessarily dewy, but, you know, light, radiant kind of base is here to yeah, stay. Yeah, and I think because blush is so popular now, I think we're going to be really paying attention to the face and not just... Because we now layer our blush. It's not like the olden days we just go, yeah, and we're out the door. Mm -hmm. Now, like, I use, like, three different colors in yeah. one sitting. It's true. It's Everyone's crazy. into, like, you do your cream, and then you kind of set it with another and color a, of yeah, blush. Yeah, and a blush topper. What the heck? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's crazy. So we're going to be doing that. What about contouring? Okay, we have lots to say, and we had the same thoughts by accident. Yeah. We didn't discuss this. Uh, so let's start with the the trend that people are talking about. I think it's called buccal fat. B-U-C-C-A-L. That's how I say it. Buckle? I don't know. This part of your face. Smile. Fat, 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 fat. The removal of that. You see it in some celebrities. I think we know Chrissy with, Teigen. Sad. She has the most cutest, most beautiful face, and now she looks like... Is Le it Leah, Leah Michelle, Michelle? Oh, she got really done. The Hadid Bella. She's But isn't the Hadid Bella the person that they want to emulate? Yes. But she had it, I think. I mean, mm. I really think you look at her face. Her I sister's did it today. so cute. And she has a cute face. I, I mean, think people are gonna go, what the heck? And cheeks are gonna be big fat cheeks are gonna be in. No, yeah. they're just not gonna bother I don't like contouring is okay in certain situations. But it's good in photography, but yeah. if you IRL saw someone with their buccals carved out in yeah. in cool. gray suit, you're going to be like, <gasps> ew, crazy. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's going to be actually about embracing. Yeah, your own cheek. face. Instead of, yeah, trying to reconstruct yourself. Like, this past year, I've, like, just really, I like to, like, sort of softly do a bit of bronze around, you know, this. I'm not trying to change it yeah Try i like bronzer for that. just a bit of bronzer because it also warms your face it's not good now when you're young and taking out your book of fat book of fat not gonna let's book. make t-shirts that say bring back book of fat oh my god that'd be funny <laughs> yeah oh well that was a bit of a tangent but we're all for just like we're all for your buckles cheeks yeah. chubby cheeks are the cutest when i was young i was self-conscious of my chubby cheeks so was actually. i yeah I like them. Yeah. I mean, when I smile with my teeth, they are really big. Mm. Deborah oh, wow. Harry. Deborah Harry. Who's that? The most beautiful girl in the world. Blondie. Oh. She's... 
She has those cheeks. cheeks. She's got a heart shaped face. Oh, yeah. And you need cheeks for that. Yeah. Anyway, guys, let us know your thoughts down below. Uh, that's face complexion. Oh, of course. Part of that highlighter. Highlighter, highlighter is the new blush because we went bronzer one year, blush last year. Now it's all about the highlighter. Yes. Mm. You know that highlighter by Rare Beauty? Yeah. It sold out again. I have it here. On the Canadian Sephora. Sephora. It restocked this morning, and now it's sold out again. Only one of the shades so far. Where'd she go? In Enlighten, which is the silvery one. This highlighter is out of this world, let me tell you. Watch it be, like, broken or some shit. Uh, I think, yeah, it's bringing it's back... It's like a baked formula. I don't think they break. That really intense glow. I can't wait to get mine. I have to, like, like use a really light hand with this shit. I ordered two. So this is the silver one, eh? Yeah, I got silver because it was the, the lightest, but no, I got the gold, too. It's coming. Mm -hmm. Anyway, yeah, highlighters. Back in KG Jane Hughes. I'm always about to say KJH. Katie Jane Hughes has, I think, later in the year, her highlighter. Yeah, and that's going to be a must-have. It's going to be a liquid one, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. So highlighter, hot. Highlighter, hot. Yes, eyes. Do you have any thoughts about what's uh, well, happening with the eyes? The palettes are going out of control. Maybe they'll slow down. Maybe they'll be like, instead of all these big giant palettes mm -hmm. coming out, they'll be like, you know... The brands that usually have big palettes, like, say, Blend Bunny might put out little ones. Because that's what Kaleidos did. They had a few big oh, yeah. ones, like two or three. And then they just do those little ones. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like that. But, like, um, yeah. I think a good eight. Like, and then okay. are people going to wear colors? Are mainstream brands going to do, like, all those cool, you know, multi-chromes or, you know... Mm. Yeah. Because, you know, they tried to do it, but they don't succeed as well. Yeah, like, like Natasha. Natasha Denona had one in that in her glam palette. And it's good, but yeah. it's just one. Yeah. It's not like these other brands are just popping them in, you know. Hmm. Like yeah. They're giving birth to them like they were rabbits. There's definitely <laughs> this lull right now in general in releases. It's We're coming down from the holidays. There was like fall is like makeup, makeup, makeup. No, there's like this pause, and I don't think any big palettes or exciting palettes will be released for a little bit, but I would like, I don't remember getting particularly excited by any palette releases last year. Well, that's a lie. I lied. I lied. I was thinking just Melt disappointed me last year, that's all. Oh, I yeah, I'm like go, going to always be excited by palettes, I, I think. Yeah. So, um, I'm hoping... I'm less excited, but I'm not going to be. <laughs> I think, though, stylistically, I think we're going to see kind of more like a loose style of eyeshadow, like a little bit more grungier, a little bit more freeform, a bit less like. Like sort the, of, of the same way, you know, where you put the highlight there and yeah, the yeah. deepening on the outer V and the. Yeah, like we'll hopefully, yeah, we'll be more creative. Maybe do some really cool one and done shapes or something. Mm. Like, um, yeah, like that show taught us. What's it called? What show? The show where everyone does eyes and the, But like they do it, you know, they're young. Old people can't get away with it. I have no idea what you're talking about. You watch oh, the show. Oh, Euphoria. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But they do very <laughs> loose style of makeup is it's, it is a bit more is like that gonna playful. continue yeah playful yeah i think i think it, older people well, should do it i think we should embrace our older you know grooviness yeah. because you can get away with a lot of shit when you're old yeah that you can't when you're young true think of it vivian westwood just challenge you know ch uh channel her spirit mm. she left us recently yeah. and just channel her yeah that's what i'm gonna do <laughs> Well, I think there was a little bit last year, just in general, this sort of, I think it pairs with the complexion idea of like that clean girl aesthetic, not clean beauty, mm -hmm. which we just did a video on, which will come out soon. We did all clean 
at Sephora Green Beauty, this face. I mean, clean girl, like that aesthetic, sort of that millennial girl boss aesthetic of like kind of everything looking very fresh, curated. That translated to the eyes sometimes. There was like this sort of resurgence of a neutrally minimal, sort of very... I don't, I don't know what to say, but I think there'll be a little bit of a step away from that. And that kind of goes with, like, over-filtered beauty on Instagram in general. Like, things being very, just filtered. Like, literally filtered. I think we're going to step away just a little bit. I think we're going to have a little bit of a more freeform, messy, creative. Mm -hmm. But not in that, not in that colorful, like, 2016 Jeffree Star creative color. I think mm -hmm. it's going to be... You know, like more Katie Jane Hughes style, a little wash of this, even your style. It's like loose, it's okay. easy, it's approachable. I think we'll see that. Okay, I hope so. Because yeah. the thing that killed me was during, you know, the pandemic, I was surprised that makeup sales supposedly went down. Yeah. So, like, I get it, but then I don't because... What were you doing on your Zoom calls? Were you just freaking out looking at your face? Like, because yeah, you're also looking at It's all about your face. Zoom. And your your hair, I get it. You couldn't go to the hairdresser. But your face, you could have done something with. And, you know, I get the sweatpants because you're sitting. Sweatpants, sweatpants are, are still... Sweatpants are all that fit me right now. I know. <laughs> you know, I went... Pre-pandemic, I had one pair of sweatpants. What? I have... So many sweatpants now. Like, I have fancy sweatpants. I have, you know, cash sweatpants. I got doggy <laughs> sweatpants. I got sweatpants that, you know, I can go to the garbage chute in that aren't too disgusting in case I see somebody. Yeah. Yeah. I have sweatpants for every hour of the day. <laughs> Put it that way. That's funny. Yeah, I think a lot of people do. Yeah. I want to get a pajama set. Not a pajama, but like a house set of like very like loose and flowy silky mm. there was this brand but it was expensive but you know something like that like yeah that you could wear out and you would look really cool but you wear it at home yeah silky, that'd be cool. soft, like a robe pants. with it and a oh a flowy pant. Thinking, oh okay i can button up like a oh, flowy oh, oh flowy okay yeah me too let's get that into that because sweatpants sometimes i don't like how they're almost like i can't wear sweatpants oh i cannot wear those to bed no, I'm they're like, not mm, wearing anything like that. Like Nothing. loose around my ankle. My legs have to be bare because I'm swishing. I'm yeah, swishing. yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't have any lip predictions. Gloss, it's gloss. I don't. So know. much lip gimmick right now, right? Like gimmick. Yeah, like this wear the lips that don't wear out. I even got oh, something. Yeah. By, I got something from Nyx. The glossy yeah, yeah. lips that don't wear out. Yeah. I don't All really that. care about that stuff. I really care about I don't about care about it. reapplying. It's fine. I don't either. You can do it. Maybe just the old-fashioned bullet. Ah, uh, that's my favorite. Yeah, me too. Bold like, lips, yeah. more neutral lips. That's, I've been wearing so many red lipsticks lately. I haven't. <gasps> I've been neutral, neutral, neutral. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Lips are up in there. Do you guys have any thoughts? Yeah, you guys must have thoughts. Let us know in the comments down below. Let, let us know. <laughs> let us know in the comments down below. Just let us know now. I don't know. I always say that. Call us on the phone. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget to like and subscribe, by the way, to you know for more videos in the new year. The more likes yeah. and subscribes we get, the more apt we're going to bring yeah, out some maybe, more continent. Continent? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe one day I can quit my day job and do this. Yeah. I have a goal to get more videos out. I think it'd be nice if we could do two videos a week for you guys. Mm -hmm. There's snow in the go, but still below if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Kidding, we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, we're going to do it without you. Yeah. With or without you. Oh, oh, I had something else to say. I almost forgot. It's, it's part of the buckle fat thing. My friend told me this about... My friend told me about this today. Apparently there's this drug that was for diabetes called Ozempic. Have mm -hmm. you heard about this? Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. apparently a lot of celebrities are using it for weight loss. Oh, yes, I heard about it. Like, yes. 
a Kardashian. Like, yeah, of course. And it's like all going in with that, like people are talking about, oh, is heroin chic back? Is the 90s back? It's like after all our body positivity movement, are we moving back to this? Because, oh, the Kardashians got their bums out and shit, you know? Their bums are out. They took out their, they're getting shit taken out. Are they? That's what I heard. I don't know. This is what her and the and this ozempic drug. Okay, I don't know if this is true. I think sometimes rumors swirl around weight loss, but they are they have been said that Mindy Kaling has oh, yeah, had this got, drug. She lost a lot of weight. I don't know, but and then Adele was maybe apparently oh. one of them too. And these are like, I don't know if this is true, but these are women that we've iconically sort of. And I didn't even grow up them. in the most intense one. Which my mother's era yeah. was the most intense. Those ladies, that like <clears throat> Joan Crawford underneath those shoulder pads, she was a skeleton. Yeah, I think. I guess when I was growing up, maybe, but I was a bit too young, and then I think body positivity started when mm-hmm. I was a teen. That's perfect. So I didn't have struggles. No, but anyway, Ozempic. <sighs> Ozempic. That's what it's called. Let's say no to that. Let's say yeah. no to drugs, okay? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. No, I think that's it for today. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Stay witchy, stay bitchy. Have a good week. Bye, witches. Bye, witches.